But here's the real magic, guys. Check out this mesh model from our powerful 3 dgs to mesh feature. You guys, you know, recently I've had a wonderful conversation with Gabriele, um, who's the host of XR AI Spotlight. We talked a lot about 3D scanning and 3D Gaussian spotting, and frankly, we spoke very freely, and I think we had a lot of real juice in the combo. So if you're interested, definitely go listen in his channel. As you can probably tell, our 3D GS The Mesh feature has become the center again because it's so unique and you don't really see this kind of tech in other 3D scanning software. While it's received a very good amount of attention and discussion, some of the comments really caught my eye. For example, Jonathan commented that once we exported the 3D GSS mesh, it's no longer a Gaussian plot file, which is very true. Um, and he's curious about how the meshes compare to standard photogrammetry outputs. Or James on LinkedIn commented that it's not a new thing to convert point cloud to mesh, um, which makes him think that our 2 dgs mesh is just a fancy term of photogrammetry. Well, I tell you what, if I were not this much involved in 2D scanning myself, trust me, I'd also be very confused too. Because after all, Gaussian spotting is essentially just point cloud, right? How hard can it be to convert to mesh? So in this video, let's misbust how 2DGS to mesh is different from photogrammetry, or is it of any difference at all? Before we go for a shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder comparison, we need to talk about point clouds. The point cloud is essentially a collection of data points in 3D space that represent the external surface of an object or environment. Generally, the more accurate the point cloud is to the actual object, the better the 3D model. Makes sense, right? Because the 3D mesh we need in the end is essentially just triangles, with each triangle formed by each adjacent point in the point cloud. So, if the point cloud isn't accurate to the object, the 3D model is going to look awful. That's actually why photogrammetry is limited to only scanning rich texture objects, because only rich textures can make photogrammetry point cloud accurate enough. Therefore, if you're trying to photo scan low texture objects, for example, this chest piece decoration, it will look like this from photogrammetry. But if you try the same object with 3D Gaussian plotting, it will look like this. It visually looks so much better, right? And check this out. We can actually view its point cloud data in a software called MeshLab. You see, although the 3D Gaussian plotting does visually look better, it doesn't actually improve the point cloud. It still retains a lot of inaccuracies compared to the ground truth. We can also check again on the photogrammetry point cloud. See, the reason photogrammetry result looks bad is because those floating points really negatively impacted the mesh quality. But despite the equally inaccurate points in 3D Gaussian spotting, it doesn't make the 3D model look bad visually. This is exactly why 2D Gaussian splatting is such a big deal in the first place. You see, it can provide visually great 3D representations even if the point cloud isn't that accurate. Because the original 2D Gaussian splatting doesn't use mesh to represent the 3D model. So, if we use the conventional method to convert the 3D GS point cloud to mesh, it should look equally bad on low texture objects, just like photogrammetry does, right? But Here's the real magic, guys. Check out this mesh model from our powerful 3 dgs to mesh feature. Photogrammetry looks nowhere close. Isn't that amazing? Having said that, I prepared three objects to try both 2 dgs to mesh and photogrammetry. A PlayStation controller, a piece of rock, and a real car. These three objects actually represent three different texture scenarios for photo scanning. The controller has very simple color scheme. It's pretty much just black and white all over its body. The simple color scheme means it won't have enough feature points for photogrammetry to get accurate point cloud. The rock has the best mesh quality in photogrammetry because of its rich texture. The car actually has been one of the most difficult objects to scan for photogrammetry because it has such reflective body paints and transparent windows. So let's see how the meshes compare. Let's start with the controller scan. 
This one is from photogrammetry, and this is from the 3D GS The Mesh. Because of its lack of rich textures, the mesh quality from photogrammetry is very wombo. But our 3D GS The Mesh did a pretty good job of making the surface smooth. And this is the rock scan. Because it has a very rich texture, the photogrammetry quality is very good. But the 2D GS The Mesh isn't that bad either. The car scan guys, look at the difference. But uh, to be frank, although 3D GS The Mesh can produce a completed 3D model, um, we still need to work on the level of details. It's still not quite there. But man, still, what an exciting piece of technology to work with. So here's the verdict. No, the 3D GS The Mesh is not the same as photogrammetry, and as a matter of fact, it even solves the low texture problems for photogrammetry. I made a video to explain why our 2 dgs mesh is so powerful, so if you want to delve more into the tech side, feel free to watch that video. Alright, that's it for today's video guys. I hope now you get a better understanding of 2D Gaussian plotting and why you should be excited about our 2 dgs mesh. If you like what we do at Kiri, please download the Kiri Engine app and like this video. And I'll see you later.